Okay, so today we drove across the state. We are now in Tampa. Um, the storms have passed. The convention center in most of the Tampa area has power back and everything's good. And we are doing the Ibex Boat Show, which is the International Boat Builders Convention and Conference. This is where boat builders come and they train on different techniques of laying fiberglass and building boats. And here at the expo, we have our 10 foot booth and we're gonna be going over with a lot of the boat builders about our polishers, polishing products, the compounds, and uh, everyone's just getting set up today. Today's setup day. You can see all the way down the aisle, people have been working all day, they're almost done. They're rolling the carpet down, getting it all set up, they'll get it vacuumed. And then tomorrow we'll start our three day show. We're hoping to um, work with a lot of OEM and boat builders on our new bucket kits so they can deliver them with the boats just the same way uh, Marine Max does with all new boats and with uh, Creval Boats does with all new boats and also Viking for that matter. Um, so we're hoping to meet a lot of boat builders, uh, work with them to put together some custom kits that could be delivered with their new boats. And I'm gonna also walk around the show for the next couple days, see what's new and interesting. I'm gonna share that with you guys here as we round out the show. Okay, so it's day one of the show. It has been an excellent day so far. The uh, show aisles, as you can see, are full of people. Uh, Sam's talking to some customers right now in the boat, in the booth, I should say, about uh, some of our compounds they're looking to use in their um, ship store and um, boat yard. And again, just an excellent day here at the Ibex Convention Center. A little bit later when it slows down, maybe tomorrow next day, take you guys around, show you some of the cool products that are being innovated here at this year's show. So we're over at the Sombrella booth. Uh, one of the cool <laughs> new things here is they got a really cool new zipper. It comes in all the different Sombrella colors. It is more weatherproof in that it doesn't let as much water or wind through. And they're about to do a segment with the guys from uh, Shipshape TV over here. We got John and the whole crew that we normally shoot with over in the Sombrella booth. One of the cool things I found at the show so far is this right here. This is called an easy anchor puller. And uh, unlike a windlass that we have on the Surehold vessel where it just pulls the rope and it piles it in the uh, anchor locker below, it all reels onto this reel and it's got the pulling strength to handle the anchor and you don't even need to cleat it off when you're done. Everything gets coiled up neatly on this. So this is something we're looking at possibly adding to our boat in the coming year because we've had times when we've been offshore running for a while and it just tosses that uh, like a spaghetti and the chain and the rope get all tangled in and it's just made it a horrible mess. It took two, three hours when we were in the Bahamas last to get it all untangled. Uh, this turns anchoring into a one person job. Anchor goes in or out with the push of a switch. You don't have to worry about a windlass. You don't have to worry about where the rope or the chain is. It's uh, actually one of the great things that we found here at Ibex and really excited about it. Okay, so now I'm in the Reverso booth, and uh, we actually have one of these on our boat. This is an automatic outboard flushing system, and it takes your shore water, and it times it once through each engine, and what, what are the times that it goes? 15 minutes or seven and a half. 15 minutes or seven and a half minutes, whether you press the button once or you press it twice. And we've got four outboards, so that's a lot of time to sit there, keep moving the hose around, and it's been great. We just plug in the hose on the boat, press the button on the machine and then it goes through all four ports through each one of our engines and we get just a great flush and we don't have to worry about the grade in our boat from all the salt water. So another great vendor here at Ibex and uh, just having a great show and um, again, something we have on the boat and we love it. Okay, so the Ibex show is over. Uh, we're all loaded up. Sam and I got the pickup truck all loaded leaving the convention center now ibex 2017 is over and behind us it was a great show saw a lot of great new products uh met with a lot of boat builders and uh now we're just headed back across the state about a three hour drive and uh back to sherholt tomorrow morning <laughs>